In this video, I'm going to make this little basket. It's a Steve Good pattern. It's called, he calls it a carriage basket. It's a downsized version of his. I'll explain why in the next section when we uh, look at the material and the pattern. So, as I'll say when I finish this up, I'm not real crazy about how this finished out. Of course, I'm very particular in a lot of things. And it's a good pattern. I just didn't execute it as well as I could have. But anyway, I did get it finished. And stay tuned, you'll see what I don't like about it. So, next we'll look at the pattern and the material and explain why it's a 75% of the size of his original pattern. This is the pattern and the material that I'm going to use. Uh, this is quarter inch uh, poplar. Uh, there's a a little bit of explanation. This this is a another wood that came in a seconds package, and it's this is quarter inch, but this is actually three sixteenths. And uh, and I didn't stack all of it. And as you can see, I'm kind of cutting them out separate. There's a reason for that. Normally, I would stack all those. These are stacked. You see, that's a double double layer. So I'm gonna cut both of the sides at the same time. But these adjoining pieces. I'm cutting them out of a different thickness of wood, and the reason is this pattern originally was eight inches, fit on an eight inch piece of uh, wood, eight inches wide, and I didn't have any eight inch available. Won't have any till the end of the next week. So uh, I had some six inch poplar, I was able to pick some of that up locally, and so I downsized the pattern by 75%. So this is actually two inches shorter than height-wise than the original Steve Good uh, designed, and I'm doing this to fit my material. And that's the reason these aren't being stacked. Because once you downsize it, you also downsize these holes, which were originally designed for, three, for a quarter inch. So it comes out to about the three sixteenths. I had to go through my scrap and find some three sixteenths. And there were various odd pieces. I got them all basically in the same material. But they were difficult to stack uh, efficiently, and so they're they're easy to cut out. And where I can, I'm using the side of the wood for a, for the side of the piece. And I'm when I'm cutting, I'm cutting two sides at once right there. So it's not really stacked, but I'm making it as efficient as I can. Anyway, that's the reason I didn't stack those nine pieces. I could have stacked that in like in three threes or something, uh, but. It was, uh, I was getting, pulling my hair out trying to figure out how to stack that efficiently to get them all cut out of the same material. And I didn't have very much of this. This is all scrap material that was, uh, I think originally was intended to be 3 sixteenths, but it was cut a little thin. That's the reason I sold it in the seconds package. So it's going to just about fit these. I might have to check that before I do the final cut to make sure they do work. Uh, I didn't stack any of them. So, anyway, I got, I got all the holes drilled. There's a lot of internal cuts on that. It's not a real difficult fretwork type thing, but there's several internal holes. I'm going to see if I can stain this, make it look kind of nice, and then seal it. Uh, the poplar, you never know. Sometimes it looks really nice if you stain it. Sometimes it doesn't. It's not really a pretty wood normally. So, but it's easy to cut. For a hard wood, it's sim simple and easy to cut. And it's very stable. So anyway, I got all this done. I think I'm going to use a number five blade. Those are fairly large cuts. I got a hole drilled large enough for a number five. And I'm going to go to cutting on that. And should be real simple to put together, but I may finish it. I may stain it before I put it together. But anyway, let me get started cutting and we'll see how it turns out. All right, got a number five blade mounted. I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out. When I get to these, they're going to be slightly large, I believe, for my the width of my uh, slats that go across. I'm going to cut them on the inside of the line. I'd rather have to sand the pin that goes in a little bit. I like them to be tied. I don't want any gaps in there if I can help it. You might get some. There's like nine of them, so you got eight sides that you can get get sides and edges you can get gaps on be easy to get a little bit off on a cut but I'm gonna to try to make them as snug as I can 
So anyway, here we go, and we'll start working center out. I've got it all cut out and I've dry fitted. There's nothing glued together. It's just stuck together. I had to sand these just a tiny bit on some of them to make them fit. They're a pretty good smug, snug fit, kind of the way I wanted. I'm very pleased with it so far. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stain it all. i got some different stains. probably going to go something dark. There's some reason I like a darker wood. But uh, that's, that's my next plan. I'm going to pull it apart and stain it, and then I'll have to glue it together. There I've got some stain on all the pieces. Didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but it's going to be alright. I think time I get it put together and put a coat of sealer on it, I think it's going, going to look okay. So anyway, I'm going to let that sit a little while, <clears throat> and then we'll see about gluing it together. Okay, I've let this sit overnight, and I'm not real pleased with the way it, it didn't look that like that on the test piece when I put that stain on there. Uh, a little more black than I'd prefer, a little more brownish or tan. It turned out okay on these, uh, but anyway, I, I'm going to put a sealer on it. That usually adds some depth, depth and brings out the grain of wood. It may give it a little better look. Uh, it's kind of hard to go back now other than to paint it or something like that. But anyway, uh, now I'm going to try to glue it together. <clears throat> I dry fit it, and it was not easy, not super difficult. So you got to line all that up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick one end in. I'm going to use wood glue so I'll have time to work it. Now, super glue uh, uh, wouldn't work real well, I don't think, on this project. <clears throat> and I'm going to use wood glue and glue on one side and then put the top half 
the second half on top of that and uh, and glue it as I go. And you have to line it all up and get it to drop in. So anyway, let me get my glue lined out and I'll start doing that. Well, there's the finished product. Uh, I'm really not very happy with it. I don't really like the way the stain looks on it. And it could have been finished better. could have been cut better and put together better. There's just uh, nothing wrong with the pattern, just my execution of it. Anyway, uh, I did get it finished. It's got a bit of a coat of sealer on it. And it wood soaks up a lot of it. Uh, may do a little more uh, sanding and deburring and put some more finish on it, but for now I'm calling it finished. I need to let that sit overnight. <clears throat> uh, I kind of like the concept of this this little basket, but uh, I just didn't carry it out very well. I'm not happy with the results. It could be a lot worse. But anyway, if you like that, uh, hit the like button. I don't like it that much, but uh, maybe you do. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I'll try to be a little better in finishing the next one. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.